Uh, hi, today I have a catalog for you guys. It's a sub 9000 and it was in my nutty bucket for a couple of months, months and I know why and I will explain it why. Uh, it's you need to turn it clockwise to open it. Uh, probably it's not the ignition or uh, door lock. I think it's maybe a glove box lock. So you can see sub here. Sub it's uh, YMOS uh, and it's very interesting key. It's a uh, eight wafers with a false gate and the bar that it's catching that sliders is serrated. So we have a false gate and serrated bar and this lock doesn't like heavy tension. And I can be sometimes, I'm not like, I, I never tension, or at least not never, but I don't tension the lock usually with a light tension. And I got, with this lock I got this uh, paper, or I don't know what it is. It's sub 9000 uh, CD 88 to 98, probably that's the year of the sub uh, car that was manufacturer for 88 to 98 maybe um, something 1992 uh, same thing last means uh, lock um, yeah so with two keys um, yeah I have the second one it's not the original one let me find that one it's a uh, it's different uh, yeah that's why I'm not show it, show it here. So yeah, let's start picking this one. Uh, so I will use this tension tool. And as I mentioned, this lock doesn't like heavy tension or mid. It's like very light tension. And because it's opening counterclockwise, we need to tension it, of course, counterclockwise. There are four, four wafers on left side, four right side. So yeah, hopefully I will pick it on camera and it's going to go out of my night bucket. First small click on the first wafer and they're not spaced evenly, some of them. So we are now on the third one and that's the jiggling test. Sorry for the bad focus. Third one from the right side. I think I overset it. Because of the light tension, I can sometimes overset. So let's start again. So the first one, the jiggle test, I think it's set. Second one, it's set. Third one, small click on the third one. And fourth one, small click on the fourth one. I'm just testing all of them. So I think, no, where is that? This is the second, this is the first one. Yeah, it's springy. Uh, so I will not, I'm not going to use two tangent tools, but I'm going to hold this like that. And I will try to continue picking like this. So now we're picking the left side and the, we need to pick it up. So, so one, I think I pick it, two, small click, three, three, here I have a, a bit heavier tension, click, two, uh, four, so let me check, four, so let me check. So for first is springy, second one, I, that was a second click from the second bound from the left, three, uh, it's springy and now four, come on. Sometimes it's very hard to, to position the pick, the right wafer. So let me check again the left side. Okay, 
Spur test, jiggling test. Tension a bit. No, everything is feels springy to me. Not the last one, maybe. No. I'm closer, I can feel that. I think. With her fall fourth seems from the left side. So one, it's okay. Two, maybe. It's okay. Three, it's okay. Four, it's okay. I think something is not right on the left, on the, on the right side. Springy, springy, springy. Yeah, I'm open. I touched number three, finally. Yeah, uh, I think I overset it previously, so then after that I did not set it properly, so you can see it's it's open so let me disassemble this file finally out of my nadi bucket <sighs> let me grab sorry for that uh, this spinning tray let's put the key here this is that okay what do i need to yeah i need to grab somehow And I'm trying to grab my C clip removal to remove into. Yeah, here it is. That's the C clip. Let's remove now this part. And there's the spring. So that's the spring. And now I think we can slide. Yes. Okay, here are all the wafers. I put it aside, but I want to show you. Uh, hopefully, you can see that. Here is that like double grooves that were making me. Uh, come on, focus. Focus on that. Yes two of them so they're catching the wafers the same thing on the other side same thing here so that's why you need it's like a serrated pins in a threaded uh, core I think so let me now remove all the wafers so that's why I was saying the spacing here is a different than here so let's go from the top this was the first one second one third one and they all have some kind of numbers and the springs i will remove one of them just to show you and on the other side one two three four so here's the springs here's the core uh standard wafer core but i don't know why they put it like a different spacing but it's yeah interesting at least 
and now you can see all the wafers where they're all let me try to clean one of them and i will show you hopefully all the false gates So all of them they have some kind of number you can see here zero or s zero zero s or s zero and here's that false gates you can see them on the side and they're present everywhere on that side because i think they're reusing it from top or bottom or left or right wafers and yeah that's one of the interesting part, let me show you close up. Uh, and they are a bit different. So this is YZ or Y2. So they're a bit different. So yeah, <coughs> that was the <laughs> Saab Carlock, old Carlock uh, Saab 9000, uh, very old, 1998, 19, uh, 1988 1998 uh, picked got it and out of my nutty bucket so yeah guys thanks for watching have a nice day have a nice speaking come on and bye bye <laughs>